This is part one of my video series on how to make your own molds and resin casts for 28 millimeter miniatures. This is the kit I've used in the past. It's a complete all-in-one kit that provides you with essentially everything you need to make a to make your own mold and your own casts. It comes complete with two-part molding silicone rubber, uh, which is room temper vulcanizing, which means it'll dry. You don't need the use of an oven or anything like that. It, once you mix the two uh, components, it'll begin to harden over time, and then you'll be left with with your um, your rubber mold. It also comes with um, white uh, two-part resin, which is like a plastic material when once it's hardened. The same thing goes for it. It's room temperature room temperature vulcanizing. That means uh, once you mix two components together, uh, it'll begin to harden. The resin will harden right away. Uh, you'll have about uh, one or two minutes working time with it, and um, the silicone mold rubber takes a lot longer to to settle. Uh, it recommends about six or eight hours, uh, depending on how thick or thin um, the amount you've poured. So the other supplies you'll need, aside from this kit, which I will provide a link to, uh, this kit is actually reasonably priced. Uh, it goes for around fifty dollars online. Um, I get mine. I used to get mine for forty dollars, but my source is uh, now they no longer stock this product, so I bought their last two. But um, this is a great kit. Uh, this is really all you need, uh, plus a few extra little, just, uh, little supplies. Um, some of those supplies are just plastic cups, uh, plastic little trays makes it a little easier uh, when you're doing resin casts. Um, I like to use um, syringes to inject uh, the resin into my molds. Uh, just some stirring sticks, some elastic rubber bands, and um, some leftover pieces of plastic sprue can help uh, create a, a good mold. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is uh, some sort of base to set your mold in. I like to use Lego, uh, which can be reshaped uh, depending on what uh, type of mold you need. Uh, so just a bunch of pieces of Lego, just flat-sided Lego that you can build up like a little house. And um, you'll also need uh, some plasticine. This uh, is needed in the, the mold making process. Also, uh, what you'll need, of course, is something you've sculpted on your own. In this case, I'll be showing how I, uh, I'll be casting um, two miniatures made by uh, Grimstone Fire. They are some evil dwarf miniatures. And uh, he is, he's actually sculpted and cast these in metal himself. And uh, I'm going to be taking them and casting them in uh, some resin. So those are all the supplies you'll need. Um, in part two of this video series, I'm going to show you how to construct the actual mold and uh, possibly for, pour the uh, first layer of the uh, mold rubber. Stay tuned for uh, part two.